Welcome back to art everybody. I am super excited for this week because we're creating sculptures. We are inspired by the Swedish pop artist Klaus Oldenburg who worked closely with Andy Warhol and Roy Lichtenstein who we've already looked at. He took everyday objects such as food, tubes of toothpaste and he turned them into art. He believed that art should be accessible or available to everybody. And he believed that it should be funny, that there should be humor in art. He placed objects, very different objects next to each other. For example, gray, austere, boring buildings. And then he would have a massive donut next to it. So when you passed, you couldn't help but giggle and appreciate the art. In your bag, you will have noticed toilet roll, uh, plaster bandages, masking tape, white tube of paint that came with your watercolors, some foil, cardboard, air dry clay. You'll also need to grab yourself some scissors and a bowl of water. Now, because this is a bit messy, sculpture often is, I would recommend you put on your trusty art smock or you wear something to protect your clothes. I would also recommend that you have something to protect your table so that you don't get mess everywhere. Now, we are going to be creating the first part of your sculpture, a tube. It might take a little while to dry. Maybe it'll take a few hours, maybe it will take a day. And when it is dried next week, we are going to be able to decorate our tubes with paint. When we finish, we'll bring them to school and pop some varnish on them. Now, Klaus Oldenburg started off creating his sculptures using cardboard and paper mache. Now, because they went outside, that wasn't feasible. Those things would disintegrate with bad weather. So he then moved on to using chicken wire, plaster, and enamel paint and they were water resistant so he could have his sculptures outside. Let's watch the video. These are the materials that you're going to need for this project. Trace around the toilet roll and then expand that circle, putting a line in the middle so that you know where the middle is when you go to cut it out. You can work out the dimensions by placing the top on the tube and playing around with it. Use a glue stick to help attach it, but secure it with a piece of masking tape as well. Masking tape is definitely your friend in this project. Now fold down the end of one of the parts of your toilet roll and this will form the end of your tube. Use glue to secure it. I often use a peg just to keep it together for a little while. If you have a peg, please use it. If not, it's not the end of the world. You could always use a stapler. And more and more masking tape to secure it and put it all together. Use a bit of the remaining cardboard to create the top of your tube. Again, glue and masking tape are your friends here.
cut down your plaster bandages to make them a little bit thinner and a bit easier to apply. Pop them in the water and make sure there is not too much water on the bandages. You can get rid of some of the water as you go. Be mindful about how much bandage you use because you want to try and make sure that you do not run out. applied all the bandage onto the tube. Just run your thumb over it to make sure it's nice and smooth. Now it's time to take the air dry clay out of the cling wrap. You will not need it all but you want to rub it into your hands to form a tube of paste. To attach it Maybe you've got some glue like this, the Yoohoo glue, or maybe you're just going to use your glue stick. I'm excited to see how your sculpture's going. Now, when I was putting mine together, I had this idea that I would remove it from the object I was initially trying to replicate or copy. And I would interpret things my way. I wanted to share some love so I made a toothpaste container with little love hearts that are coming out. You might want to be creative. You might want to think of something that you want to share with people. That is what your art journal is great for. And you can come up with some ideas. Maybe you want to write some words down that inspire you. Maybe you want to have a look uh, for other pop artists and see what kind of inspiration they can give you. Maybe you just want to come up with some ideas and you want to look at patterning. You might recognize Yayo Kusama here. I do love her. Can't wait to see your results. Enjoy this activity.